What's going on you guys? Ethis Mystical Child here coming to you with a pick a card. Hope all is well with you guys and hopefully this message in this reading or messages in this reading is useful to you. Shout out to all my subscribers, new and old, what's popping? If you're a visitor, welcome. Return a visitor, welcome back. The title is What Does Your Ex Think About You? So again, as always, I say, I don't know what's going to come out. Take what apply and leave the rest. Hopefully you don't get triggered. And we have three pals. This is pal number one, pal number two, pal number three. With these decks, for some reason, I always give you crystals. So I'll give you for pal number one will be the jade. This will be the orange. Um, wow, how I forget it that quick. Hold on for a second. I cannot think of the, the crystal name. I haven't eaten all day. Literally nothing. My brain is like running on dust. So I'll give you the amethyst for this one. I normally like the amethyst to go with this one anyways. And then I'll give you the clear quartz with this deck. So you have the jade, amethyst, quartz. Pile one, pile two, pile three. Pick your pile or your piles. See you in pile one. If you pick this jade crystal, or if you pick this deck, this is your reading for Power One. Shout out to you guys. Hopefully you could get some messages or some clarity from this reading. Shout out to my subscribers, new and old. Visitors, welcome. Returning visitors, welcome back. The title is, What Does Your Ex Think About You? So we're going to figure out what your ex think about you. So we're going to see the current situation. What is the current situation between Power 1 and X? What is this current situation between a Power 1 and their X? Wow. The current situation is a tower. So, start off, you guys could be a Scorpio or a Taurus, Aries or a Libra. There's a tower moment here. So, there's some chaos going on between you and your X right now. Somebody had the rug pulled from underneath them. Well, it's like pandemonium going on, destruction. But this tower happened for um for you guys to. Hold on for a minute. Yeah, this um tower was for a transformation here. That's why this tower came. Whoever you believed in, this is why this tower struck. What's the current situation with this tower? Between power one and the X? The moon? Yeah, the moon. So somebody could be a Capricorn. Shout out to the Capricorns. It's just easy. Capricorn or Cancer. Pisces or Virgo. Illusions. Fears. Somebody drowning in their emotions, but they're too scared to speak up about their emotions. Yeah, a lot of illusions, a lot of fears. Four wands in reverse. So there's, um, if you guys live together... The foundation was not good wherever you were living. Or if you weren't living together, this relationship wasn't built on a steady foundation. So there's a lot of like toxicity going on. Because four wands up, right, is happiness, is partying. It could be different ceremonies, weddings, all type of ceremonies. But in reverse, this is toxicity. This partying is a lot of toxicity going on with this partying energy. That's why there is no stability here. Clarify this tower and what's going on between power one and AX. The fool. Well, the tower struck so somebody could get a brand new beginning. The amethyst is here for somebody to listen to their intuition. And that I, the power two has amethyst. The crystal is amethyst. So, yeah, so this happened for somebody to listen to their intuition, for somebody to 
to go out on a limb and believe in themselves and stop staying trapped into the situation. Because this tower is a, a, situa a situation where you start to feel like you're trapped. A fool is somebody who's optimistic, somebody who believes in themselves, someone who uses their intuition to know when to take a leap. And, and this fool, there's a lot of serendipity in the air, amethyst, and it's a lot of magic and serendipity going on. So this is why this tower hit. Clarify this moon. Why is this moon here? For power one and AX. Page of Swords. I'm going to take the first card. Behind that is Justice. Six of Cups. Moving on. Blocking yourself. So the Page of Cups, again, is, is getting information, trying to get information. A Page of Swords is somebody that's very intellectual, somebody that's very clear-cut thinking, you know? They're very studious as well. Someone who always get light bulb moments. Somebody is trying to get trying to get um, some information about what's going on with this moon energy, what's being hidden, basically, is what I'm saying. Somebody have to heal their inner demons, because if you look at her upright, look down there in the shadow. Somebody's shadow side is like affecting this relationship. And a shadow side has to do with the moon. The moon is all about shadows, illusions, fears. Um, what else you could say about the moon? If somebody's like not trusting their intuition, somebody is like they are um, confirmation. I'm not even gonna go no further because it's like I'm digging for a word and it. That's it. So yeah, the justice. I put the justice back. Clarify the four wands in reverse. What is the the magician? Clarify this magician. What is this magician manifesting? Somebody trying to manifest coming out of depression, coming out of feeling hurt and despondent. Somebody um, know how to do burning bowl rituals for some of you guys. Some of you um, use singing bowls as well. But you're trying to manifest coming out of this type of this energy. Let me see something. Let's use this deck. You hear the song in the background? I don't have no time. Wasting my time on you. I don't have time to waste time on you. Crying over you. This is that energy. And this is like the magician is trying to manifest this. Confirmation. Clarify this five of cups. And how pop. Somebody want to talk to you. Somebody want to communicate with you. Mercury energy. Somebody could be a Cancer. I mean, not a Cancer. A Gemini or Aquarius. Why well, I say Aquarius? Maybe Aquarius. I didn't mean to say Aquarius. Somebody could be a Gemini or a, um, a Sagittarius. This is Gemini energy as well. Sagittarius energy. Also Virgo energy. So it's a lot of like water and earth with some air over here. What's this communication about? How does Pal 1X feel about them? have the tower now in reverse the towers up right now the towers in reverse this is how they feel this person don't want to change when the towers in reverse it's like this person is living a stale life they refuse to change they have a fear of the unknown that's why I said they drowning in these illusions and emotions as well this person is in denial very destructive too so they don't want anything to change between you guys. And if it's not you manifesting, it's this person trying to manifest for you not to come out of this energy. They want you to keep thinking about them and daydreaming about them. So when they come back, you be more receptive to them. This person don't want you to heal. The chariot is on the bottom of the deck. This person don't want you to balance yourself and take control of the situation and heal. They don't want you to do that. They don't want you to be victorious. They don't want you to be a person that have willpower. Because right now, you guys have opposing energies. 
And the Knight of Wands is behind that. You guys are fiery. Some of you are very pretty. Seems like you're very pretty. Females, if you're a female. Because it's nothing but female energy. It's only one man energy. And it's this magician right here. Trying to manifest. So, yeah. You seem to be very pretty. Long, black, tall hair. Very, it could be black brunette. It could be blonde, honey blonde. But you have long hair. Some of you are very slim. If you're not very slim, you like thick slim. But this person don't want you to come out of, um, they don't want you to heal. Clarify this magician. This person is stuck in a comfort zone. You have the south node comfort zone and you have stability. You also have flow and harmony. This person is trying to keep you stuck in your comfort zone. They don't want you to outgrow them. This is how this person feel about you. They don't want you to outgrow them. They want you to stay stuck in this toxicity. This is how they feel. Clarify this tower over here upright. This person feel rejected and fragmented. It says trust divine timing. But this person is trying to inter intercept divine timing because they're manifesting against this divine timing. But this person feel lost and fragmented. They feel rejected. Clarify this fool. How does this person feel about power one? How does power... Yeah, with this fool and self-love, this is what they feel. That you're going to find love. You're going to find self-love for you. You starting to listen to your intuition. You starting to care for yourself more. Pay attention to what your what your higher self is telling you. You want to go create a happy life, a loving life. Clarify this page of Yeah, the page of swords. You're gonna take a leap of faith on yourself. Some of you are like you call yourself like lone wolves. Some of you work better alone by yourself. You work, there's a stalemate here as well. Somebody avoiding you. Some of you probably avoiding this person because this person want to talk to you. But um, yeah, it's like some of you guys do better working alone. You don't do well with working with people. What time is it? Clarify this moon and how Power One X feel about them. You have conflicted. This person is conflicted. Again, it's with the multiple choices. This person blowing hot and cold. A hot and cold person is somebody that's like a, a page of cups. Not a page of cups, a knight of cups. Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio energy. This person have decisions to make. They had decisions to make. But yeah, this person, that was conflicted. So when you're conflicted and you're not making any moves, no answer is an answer. A lot of people don't know that. No move is a move. Clarify this magician and how they feel about um, power one. It's a finality. This person feel like you is like a farewell. A closure. You leaving them behind. Somebody being left behind. They feel like this is over. Clarify this rejection and fragmented energy and how power one feels. No, how the X feel about power one. Oh, this, this deck is not in reverse. I was going to say, oh, this deck is in reverse, but it's not. But these cards are coming out in reverse, which is weird. None of them in it. You have the bottom thing. Only these four cards are in reverse. I'm going to take them out of reverse. Either way, it doesn't matter because I can read it both ways. This person don't want you to draw a line in the sand with them. They don't want you to close your energy off to them. They don't want you to start a new beginning with them. These boundaries, they want you to let down your boundaries. They want you to let these down. Some of you probably moved away from this person. There's confessions here. They want to come clean with these messages, with the Mercury energy, communication. This person really want to come clean. They want to talk to you. For some of you guys, they want to confess to you. Clarify this four wands in reverse. And how this person, they broken hearted. They feel like they've been destroyed. Somebody could have broken hand, broke their hand. 
Yeah, but they feel broken. They feel broken that you don't want to participate in this this unsteadiness, this this sinking ship. Because if you grow, they're going to have to grow. Because instinctively, when you leave somebody, you leave them and they still have to face their demons. Whether they run around and still do whatever they do, they're still thinking about you right here, right now. And they know to be with you, they have to grow. Last messages. How does Power 1X feel about them? It says, my dreams. I've been dreaming about you in my dreams. We are so free and in love. Wish I could stay there forever. Yeah. In the 5D, you guys are free, y'all in love, everything is hunky-dory. But in this 3D, this person don't want to get themselves together. How does person feel about power one? You are so special. You are truly divine. I've never felt energy like yours before, and I can't get enough. This is why they're trying to manifest against you, from you to stop pushing forward. One last message. Ooh. It says you hurt me. That shot out over here with this four of wands in reverse and his broken heart. It says you hurt me. Everything that happened hurt me so much. I need more time to heal. Well, there you go, you guys. They need more time to heal. It seems like some of you already left them, so I don't know. Hold on. I want to see something. One last oracle because I have them out for you guys. I'll give you a self-care oracle. Self-care oracle for power one. What messages they need that will help them right now. Whoa, that's a lot that came out. It says, love your journey. Be open to new ideas of loving you. And that's this energy right here. And this energy with the fool and self-love and creation. Let's see, what is this over here that came out? Whoa, this is a lot. It says... Be nice, but not too nice. Not everyone deserves your kindness. Glow up. Take a day to spoil yourself. If it makes you feel beautiful, then do it. Past life connection. I think I said that some of you... No, I did this reading before already, and then I swapped it out and changed the decks because the energy that came out, I didn't like it, but it was the same thing in Power 1. It says past life connection. Someone with a heavy influence from your past life is with you. Plan your career. Create milestones and have strategy to set yourself up for success. Yes, move, push, push forward with this page of swords. And then with that um, full card, it says you're charming. I have confidence in your charm. No, it says you're charming. Have confidence in your charm. A lot of people gravitate towards you because they like you for you. Obsession. Focusing too much on one situation the need to take a step back. So you guys need to take a step back. This person needs to take a step back as well. So yeah, those are your messages. If you have gotten something from this, like and or subscribe. It says get a reading. Use divinations to understand your desire and your path. Like a career reading. If you want to get a reading, a career reading will be good for you. So till next time in Taroland. Take care. Pow 2. If you pick the amethyst in this deck. This is your reading. Shout out to you guys. Hopefully this reading is useful to you. And if you were subscribing or old, what's going on with you guys? Hope you're doing well. Visitors, welcome. Returning visitors, welcome back. The title is, What Does Your Ex Think About You? So, we're going to see what your ex think about you. What is the current situation between power one and the X? I said power one is power two. Hold on for a second. Gatekeepers, what does power two X think about them? Sheesh. Well, I have to go get for these cards. You have death. The death card. So you guys could be a Scorpio or a Taurus. Somebody name could be Jim. But this person feel like this is um, this relationship is over. They feel like it's um, needs to change or it needs to have a uh, a transition. Somebody here could potentially have a new belief. What is the current situation with Power Two and AX?
Do they feel like this relationship is, is dying or is basically is dead? You have the Six of Cups and then you have the Ten of Wands. Somebody's reminiscing. Some of you guys, this could be a past life relationship. This could be even a childhood relationship. It doesn't have to be a sexual relationship. It could be a childhood. It could be, well, I did say your ex. So some of you could have been dating your, um, your childhood friend. But somebody feels disgusted about this relationship now. They literally feel disgusted. Look. You see the couple love? You're trying to give it a couple love? She's throwing up? She feels disgusted about this. Somebody is burdened. Somebody has a lot of children and they burdened. Somebody named could be Lenny. Person carrying a lot of burdens in this situation. This person probably have other children to take care of. If these children are not your children. This person have at least like five children. Six children. Sheesh. What is the current situation with Kyle 2 and a person? Well, it seems like the Empress is the one carrying all these burdens. You guys could have like six children. No dig if you do. Somebody could be a Libra or Taurus here. Somebody is going to a, a like a pastor or somebody who they can talk to about this relationship. They're going to talk to them about this relationship. Somebody could be named Janet, Stacy, Lenny, Florence, Jim, Mick. It's a king of swords here. Clark. Somebody have anxiety, mental anxiety behind this Two of Cups. The Two of Cups is similar to the Lovers card to me. The Lovers came out in Power One. So this person have anxiety about this relationship. Behind that is the Devil and then the King of Cups. Shout out to the Capricorns because the Capricorn energy came out in Power One, but it came out with the Moon. And when I see the devil, I look at the devil as the moon, too. A lot of people don't, but yeah. This person have a lot of vices. This person have a lot of people they're dealing with. Okay, somebody here is toxic, and the other party over here is abundant. Abundant, loving, very nurturing, very caring, very charming, very romantic. Someone that could help you spiritually. Then you have over here, this person is a, a demon. They're over here on a demon time, and they have a mental anxiety. Somebody could be having um, mental instability if they have, you know, those type of issues, mental issues. Somebody mental is starting to turn on them. This person have a burning in their belly, though. This person is really on a demon time. They want to keep people stuck and trapped with them. They want to keep them bonded and tied to them. And it's just driving them crazy how they're going to do this. How they're going to get you back to them. Because the death is right here. The first card came out. They're trying to figure out how they're going to revamp this. How they're going to get you tied back into their, their deceptive behavior. Clarify the Six of Cups. No, I don't even want to use this deck no more. Wait a minute. Clarify this King of Swords and how they feel about Power 2. Unexpected storms wanted to come out. This came out in power one. It's a tower moment. Damn it. The tower came out twice. Both tower cards came out in this deck. This is fate. Whoever you believe into is breaking this relationship up. This person is going through a tower moment. This king of swords, this Aquarius, Gemini, or or Libra, they going they going through a tower moment. This is divine intervention. This is being torn down. It's, it's being torn down. Clarify this Ten of Swords. Whoever you believe in is orchestrating this tower moment. The Ten of Swords. It's like, yeah, this love offer. This love of officer, little love officer. Somebody could be an officer. But this love offer have somebody burdened, very burdened. And the universe is tearing this down. 
So the universe is tearing this down. They don't want this to happen. Self-love came out in power one. The universe wants you to show yourself self-love. If you have children, go show, go love on your children. It says nurture and compassion. And this card right here reminds me of taking care of yourself or your children. You have to go love on your children. You have to leave this person behind. On the behind that, it says freedom. Somebody could be Aquarius. This is Aquarius energy. This person could, somebody here is Aquarius, Gemini or Libra. Somebody needs to take a leap of faith on themselves. Be rebellious. Take a leap of faith on yourself. Don't stay stuck in this situation because you have kids or whatever. Because to be honest, your kids is going to suffer. And I hate to see that because at one time we all were children. And when children suffer because a family trying to hold somebody, when people trying to hold the family together because of the kids, the kids end up suffering. Clarify this, Hierophant. Detachment. Yeah, somebody's attached and cold. Somebody, this could, some, you could be married here, or this could be a Taurus. But somebody here is detached and cold. How does this person feel about pal? It says other options, I mean, other opinions. I feel bound by my cultural and family beliefs on how I should live my life. I'm working towards breaking free from limiting myself on these beliefs. And this is why I said they're trying to talk to somebody. This hierophant, they're trying to talk to somebody about this. Somebody been indoctrinated. And this is another reason why I said, do not stay bound to somebody because of you have children. This is what I was alluding to. But I didn't want to say somebody has been indoctrinated, you know, because people get offended by that. But it is the truth. How does this person? Mother wounds. My mother is a big influence on my behavior now as an adult. I have challenges connected to the, my divine feminine energy within me and externally. This person have a hard time showing love. They don't love themselves, so they can't love another person. And I always say that. And that's why I just keep bleeding through. Love yourself. Love yourself. Love yourself. Somebody's cold and detached. You have to go love yourself. This person have to go find how to love themselves. This person knows they love is keeping people tied and bound to them, being on a toxicity and a demon time. This would was like showed to them growing up. They don't know them no other way. So now this person ex feel like they ain't going through anxiety and going through mental instability. But that's not your fault. You have to push forward and do what's right for you and your children or what's right for you if you don't have any children here. Start to... If you want to be an entrepreneur, put that energy into that. Start loving on your business. Do it. You need to put your love where love is going to be reflected back at you. You don't put love where love is just going to be just not even reflected back at you. A devil is not reflecting love back at you. And if they do, it's so toxic that you will run for the hills. So if you have gotten something from this, like and or subscribe. And I'm going to PAL 3. And I got to plug in my charger because this phone about to die. Till next time. I'm going to give you a self-care oracle message. I gave it to Power One, so I'll give you one. It said, overcoming obstacles. Get back on your feet. Gain strength from difficult situations. On the bottom, declutter. Let go of old items. Create a new sacred space for yourself. Till next time, like and subscribe. Power One. I mean Power One. Some of you should go to Power One, or maybe you're coming from Power One. This is your clear quartz. This is Power Three. Shout out to you guys from from where I don't know what I'm talking about. <laughs> shout out to you guys from the collective I guess if you're a visitor welcome returning visitors welcome back if you are a subscriber what it is the title is how does your ex feel about you so let's get right into it gatekeepers how does pal 3x feel about them person feel like they didn't listen to you something you told them but they didn't want to hear it you have five of cups here this person is depressed now and they stressed out now you have the eight of pentacles that came out you have the lovers that jumped out i'm gonna take it i'm not gonna put it back the lovers came out in power one the lovers injustice so this person feel like this is a karmic situation the choices you make are karmic choices you don't do you didn't make choices for the betterment of this relationship. This is what the ex is feeling like. Clarify this five of cups. Page of cups. This person wanna to come to you with an offer because they didn't listen to you. Whatever you told them, they didn't listen. Now they wanna to come to you with an offer, trying to like 
Like, you know, when somebody try to hypnotize you, like, yeah, kitty, kitty. Yeah, that's what they want to do to you. Clarify this. Five, ooh. You have the Ten of Pentacles. This has to do with the relationship that you guys were working on. Or supposedly work, supposed to be working on. I always say, you had the peace to this game. So you knew what was going on. Somebody was playing a game on your back. Clarify this lovers. The emperor wanted to come out. And that's her husband or somebody's father. But it's an ex. So I'll take it as the, uh, the uh, husband or a boyfriend. This person. You know when they say you make your bed, now you got to lie in it? This person backed themselves into their own torture device. Because look, this is the Ten of Swords. This person is burdened. But not only are they burdened mentally, these are stabbing them in their body. This person's going through physical pain behind this. Hopefully there's no violence going on here. Somebody getting stabbed up or whatever. Somebody probably get injured. Probably get, you know. Then you have the Five of Pentacles here. You have the Five of Pentacles, then you have the Five of Cups. The opposite of a Cups is a Pentacle. Five, Five is here. This relationship, you will never be the same after this relationship. You will learn a lot of lessons from this relationship, and these cards are repeating from Pile 1. Clarify this Emperor. How does this Emperor feel about Pile 3? The High Priestess and the damn Devil. The Devil came out in Pile 2. And it kind of came out in power one, but it came out as the moon. Shout out to the Capricorns because it is your time. It's your season. But this high priestess don't want to be bothered with you. This high priestess, which is this emperor, they don't want to be bothered with you. As the devil, whoever's a Capricorn or is in this devil energy, they don't want to be bothered with you. They closed off at you. They listen to their intuition and they listen to their guides. You are the type of person that laid all type of traps for this person and want to see how it was going to play out. This person is getting justice. This is over. The scales are being balanced. Clerk, whoa. The Knight of Wands, somebody impulsive, somebody sexual and impulsive. They want to come talk to you for the ones who have broken up with this person. Clarify this justice. Yeah, they wanted to breadcrumb you. Somebody wanted to breadcrumb you. Somebody wanted to leave you and make you feel less than this Knight of Wands energy. And this Knight of Wands energy is this devil energy. They want to trap you. They want to leave you trapped and burdened. If you had children by this person, they want to leave you burdened, want you begging for money for these children. Clarify this devil. How does this devil feel about power three? They drown in their emotions now. They drown in their emotions. Clarify this lover's energy and how does Pal 3 feel about their ex? That finality wanted to come out. That came out in Pal 2. You called this person bluff. This person wanted to love bomb you. This person wanted to pretend like they want a relationship. Some of you guys knew better, but you called this person bluff. You've seen the fraud that they are. Like and or subscribe. Till next time in Tarot Land.